I am not the only person that collects stuff. And if you've got nothing to do this weekend, head into the Queensland Museum to collect a mania. Oh. We got one of the ones that I was most impressed with that was collected by a man called Peter Kinney, who is a retired English teacher, and he collects this. I collect memorabilia from J.R.R. Tolkien and the Hobbit and Lord of the Rings movies. Just fell in love with the stories back in the 70s and started collecting back then. First of all, it was books, then it was posters, and then it was figurines. And when the movies came out, I just went crazy, I suppose, one for a better word. So how many items have you got? Um, current count is nearly a 1,000. Yeah. What's your biggest thing? The Hobbit Hole in front of us here. Many of the items in there are based on the movies. All the food that is in the pantry and in the kitchen are based on the foods that you uh, read when, well, that, that are in the Hobbit story from the book. There's actually a barrel of um, pipe weed over there that Merry and Pippin were you know, favourites of Merry and Pippin's. Uh, there are photos and pictures and maps on the walls based on the books and the movies. How much have you spent on your collection? Do you have any idea? I really have no idea because I've been collecting for over thir about 36 years. I also have a first edition Hobbit, which is very valuable, and a first edition Lord of the Rings. And I also have a newspaper from the Times Literary Supplement, 1937. And it's the very first book review of The Hobbit. And the last sentence of that book review says, this could one day prove to be a classic. Tell me about your ring. Oh, I have um, a copy of the One Ring. This is a silver version that I wear everywhere. But I also have a gold one at home on the chain as well. Can you speak Elfish? Mm, not really. Can anyone speak Elfish? Do you yes, know? I've got a friend who's pretty good at it. So how much of your day or your week do you spend on your collection? I would spend just like office hours on a normal day. So this is what happens to retired teachers? This is what happens to retired teachers who follow their dream. I'm looking for someone to share in an adventure. I can't just go running off into the blue. I am a Baggins. Wait! Of Bag End. You'll have a tale or two to tell when you come back. I bet you Peter Kenny would have a tale or two to tell. <laughs> yeah. And if you want to see a photo of him and his Hobbit hole, it is going up on our Facebook page now. That South Farthing pipe weed will be at Splendour in the Grass, too. <laughs> <laughs> uh, the Hobbit is out uh, today or this week on DVD. On DVD, Fantastic. absolutely it is.